What's up, guys? I'm back playing more WoW Classic TBC on my shaman. And as you guys can see, we're in Scarlet Monastery. We're in the Armory, I believe. <clears throat> and I think we're gonna do Cathedral after this, so. I thought, you know what, why not? I might as well just record this gameplay. It'll give me something to upload tomorrow as well, so, you know. It's all good, it's all good. Alright, but we're with the pretty, um, pretty strong party. We have a level 42 Hunter, 42 Shaman, 38 Blood Elf, and then a 35 uh, Shaman. I'm the lowest level here, I'm only level 33. In the last, in the last video, uh, we ended off at Stranglethorn Vale. Um, I actually had a video ready to be, um, uploaded, but unfortunately, the video kind of got ruined by the players in the game. Uh, in that video, I had gotten a Scarlet Monastery run, and unfortunately, my party leader thought it was, you know, really funny to just, like, troll and then reset the raid once we were two-thirds of the way done once we had two out of three bosses killed and so we had to um, fight all the mobs again and I was just like you know what fuck that shit I'm not doing that shit again I'm not doing this shit again so I just left and it pretty much just ruined the video which was a bit unfortunate but I guess it is what it is I guess you know like what can you do you're gonna get these you're gonna get trolls every everywhere you know so I just left that party but hopefully this um, dungeon run is easy I mean it should be easy we have people who are level like 40s you know so should be no big deal to um oh fuck me okay good we killed him before he could aggro it's perfect but yeah, hopefully I can show you guys some um, new dungeon content, because, man, the last dungeon video I tried to record got freaking butchered by the freaking players, man. These guys were some straight up ass, ass cheeks at the game, bro. Oh man, that's a big miss. But yeah, um, I guess it's good that I'm the lowest level uh, in the party, so I don't have to really... So, I mean, it's just going to make uh, things a lot easier, make the run a lot easier, which is super dope. Yeah, it's looking pretty solid here, though. Unfortunately, I'm in competition with this Shaman for items, which is uh, kind of bad. I just have to get lucky with the need rolls. I really hope the um, Herod drops his axe again, because I did actually do an armory run off camera, and we di I did complete it. And um, Herod, the end boss of the armory, he drops his two-handed axe, but I lost the roll, which was a bit unfortunate. And it was pretty dumb, because the guy who needed it was our healer, or uh, he was our tank. And it's like, I guess he can take the- I mean, I guess the axe is good for him for leveling. Like, but he was specced as prot, which is weird. It's like, I guess the two-handed axe could be good for him, but, I mean... I would just assume if he's specking procs, sword and shield, or mace and shield is much better, but... I mean, I don't know. What do I know? What do I know, guys? I am just a casual newbie. Ooh, an armor crate. Uh, I don't have enough mana for magma totem, or else I would have summoned the magma totem. Oh, now I have mana. Alright, so we summon a magma totem. Uh, I'm a bit oom um right now, so I can't really do much. We do have one of our shaman's mana spring totem up. Oh, okay, my magma totem is doing some work though, which is really good. Let's interrupt his fire spell. Interrupt his fire spell again. Yeah, I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm. Hit, I'm getting a lot of misses on these guys, um, which kind of sucks. But fortunately, my team can carry me. So. That is all good. Everything is Gucci. So yeah, we're gonna do an armory run. Armory runs aren't that, or I mean, Scarlet Monastery in general aren't, don't really take too long, just cause they're like, kinda short. Most of them are pretty short. I would say Library is maybe the second longest, and then Cathedral is probably the longest out of all the dungeons. So probably like Cathedral is the longest, Armory. Or excuse me, Cathedral, Library, Armory, and then Graveyard. Graveyard is like so short compared to um, everything else. Let's interrupt this Holy Light. Summon a Magma Totem. Get some AoE going. 
Oh man, these guys are getting topped off. Alright, nice. Alright, hopefully he drops... Uh, Herod drops his axe or his shoulder pad and we win it. Because if we do, oof, that would be so nice. And there's going to be some really good equips for us in Cathedral as well. So I'm hoping for some good equips. You know what, I'm just going to put my... I'm going to try Wind Fury Weapon. You know, Wind Fury Weapon isn't really that good with... Um, okay, we interrupted the heal, which is good. So he couldn't get the heal off on the guy running away. It's nice. But yeah, Cathedral should give us some good items. I feel like there's a really nice helmet and a really nice shoulders for mail that we could pick up. That we could probably need because, I mean, we're so close to level 40. We're gonna... Once we um, get to 40, we could wear the mail. So it's... I mean, it's not wrong to need it as a shaman. Even if you're love, below level 40. Because then I mean, you could save the item and just like, wear it when you hit 40, you know? Two-handed mace. Ooh, this is a lot stronger than what I got. Oh, he resisted. I'm gonna need this because it's stronger than what I have. Uh, where's that mace? Boom, 67 to 101. Wow, that is really good. Alright, so we got a... Oh, we got a new mace as well. Spirit and Strength, which is pretty good for shamans because it's gonna help me with my regen. Uh, let's block that. Uh, I'm gonna summon my Magma Totem. Nice, we got a Wind Fury proc. Cool beans. Holy Light, I can't interrupt it. Now I can. Nice. Okay. Nice. Now we deal with this Evoker here. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so uh, we got these guys now. I'll summon my Magma Totem. Uh, he resists my Earth Shock, unfortunately, or Flame Shock, unfortunately. Uh, we're just going to pop our Blood Rage, because why not? Oh, we got a Wind Fury. Very cool. I guess Wind Fury is a lot better now because I have maxed elemental weapons. So yeah, let's actually just keep equipping Wind Fury. Okay. Um, we could regen mana, but honestly, it's all good. So let me see the stats. So, oh, we get a lot better stats. A lot more strength. We lose stamina and agility, but I guess it's fine. Alright, some of my magma totem just to help with the deeps. Nice, we got a big wind fury crit off. Uh oh, that's a miss though. Um, okay, these are all Myrmidons, so we don't have to worry about them healing up or anything. Alright, we'll go for this Myrmidon next. Alright, let's pop this guy in the dome. But yeah, alright, I need to focus the guy who heals. I don't think there's a guy who heals here, actually. Uh, let's Magma Totem up again, so we can get the AoE. Man, look at all these totems, man. I love it. The shaman power, baby. Uh-oh. These guys are resistant hella. I think we might be able to ding 34 if we uh, finish Cathedral. Which uh, will be really nice for us. Because we, we need to level up our skills, too. I didn't level up my 32 skills because I was going to do it. I was going to show you guys uh, me leveling it up in the video. In, in a video. I don't know which particular video, but I guess we'll do it in this video after we uh, finish these runs. But yeah, this will be some nice content to upload. Okay, let's proceed with the beats. Look at this, guys. We're freaking ganking these fools. This freaking... All four of us surrounding us. All five of us surrounding us. We got a fucking turtle fucking this guy up, too, you know? I'm just fucking right clicking his ass. Boom. Alright, and this is uh Scarlet Monastery runs are also really good for getting like um uh silk cloths as well as wool cloths. The guys outside of Scarlet Monastery, I believe they drop wool and silk, so uh if you're ever looking to, you know, uh, level up your first aid or just like um 
find silk cloths to sell at the auction house, this is a great place to do so. It's much better if you're doing this at like max level or at least like level 60 or something like that. Just so you could, you know, ha uh, clear everything just like really easily. So you don't have to like, you know, so you don't run into any problems or anything. Nice, we got a Wind Fury. Uh-oh, this guy's running. Oh, he resisted my Frost Shock, so that's not good. He's gonna eventually pull these guys, but we're really, um, we're very high level, you know? Or at least our, our, my team is, so we should have no problem dealing with these extra mobs. I'll interrupt this Fireball, I guess. Because there's no one here to heal. I'll interrupt it again. <coughs> Alright, um, where's the... Oh, what is this? Two-handed sword. Can't really use that. Reverberation. This is the talent that I really like. It'll reduce my shock spells cooldown by one second at max level. Oh, that was a big crit. But yeah, um, I was thinking of going into the resto talent tree, but nah, I'm just gonna go into elemental. I probably get the most value out of elemental. Resto is good though, especially if you're like really good at like using your totems because resto, um, after you level up enhance, the beginning uh, talent tree talents have a lot to do with like uh, making your totems better. So it all depends on like your playstyle. Are you more of like a totem twisting playstyle, or are you just like raw DPS, fuck the totems, you know? It all depends on how you play. I mean, either way, as a shaman, you need to be, you need to know how to use your totems correctly. But it's just pretty much preference at the end of it. I, I have a feeling. I mean, obviously, elemental will probably have. If you spec into elemental after enhance, you'll do more DPS. But if you're um, looking for, you know more range on your totems, or more duration, or stronger totems. I would, I would say uh, spec in the resto after you level up your enhanced shit. But for me, I'm gonna spec into elemental. Just because I care more about just like raw DPS. Alright, I guess we could summon a stone skin totem. Uh, let's... Oh, wow, he resisted my Frost Shock. That's not good. I was about to say, um... Let me Frost Shock this guy so, you know, when he runs away, he's slow, but... He ran this way, so that's... It doesn't even matter. Oh, alright, we got these guys. Alright, let me summon my Magma Totem. Do the AoE damage. Nice. This Magma Totem is doing some work. Unfortunately, it only does 20 to 22 damage, but... Hey, man, at least that's... A, um, at least it's something, you know, and it's it's my only it's shaman's it's pretty much shaman's only AOE ability besides chain lightning, but I don't really count chain lightning as an AOE ability. It's it more just like you you get to target three people, so it's it's just only three people. So I mean AOE is more just like you could like hit as many mobs as you can in just like one specific area, so that's where shamans really lack is in, uh, is in the AOE department. But I, I mean, I, and I guess we get this, you know, shitty magma totem, which is, you know, it's not like that shitty, you know. But when you're, you know, fighting a bunch of mobs and then this thing pulls a bunch of threat, it has a chance of, you know, one of the mobs killing it, as opposed to like fucking blizzard or like firestorm or whatever that warlocks have. Where it's just like, you could just cast it and boom, you do AoE damage. Or freaking Hunters, this spell from Hunter, the Arrow Fall, or the Reign of Arrows, or whatever the fuck that shit's called. Man. Where's the love for the Shaman's Blizzard? Literally, their main protagonist, one of their main protagonists is the freaking Shaman, bro. And, he, and Shamans are so... They're not the weakest class, but they're definitely like a very niche class. Like you have to like playing Shaman in order for you to roll Shaman. Or else, I mean, pretty much every other class does your job better, pretty much. Like Mage can AoE down a lot better. Ah, I've been waiting for a real challenge. Oh, shit. All 
Alright, here we go. Hera, drop any equip or drop that axe and please get, just give it to me. Just give me the axe, please. I know that this shaman's gonna need roll for the axe. But Blizzard, I know you're about to give me that axe. Because I'm recording. It's And it's for the video. Blizzard, give me the streamer loot, okay? Give me the streamer loot and the streamer luck, please. It's like, bro, if you, and also, like, if you wipe against this guy, bro, you have to be bad at this game, like. Like, you literally have to be bad, like, bro. This, this, the Scarlet Monastery is so easy, like, I would say the only... Oh! I'm gonna need this. No! Fucking Warmall! He won! That bastard! Oh my gosh. Man, that's unlucky. Alright, so we lost two rolls in a row, unfortunately. We lost to a paladin off camera. And then now we lost to this Shami. Which is pretty which kinda sucks fat dong, because that helmet is gonna be really good for us. It's probably one of our like it's very crucial piece for uh, once we get mail, once we're able to wear mail. You want to run Scarlet Monastery and get that helmet. And I think he drops his shoulders as well. But man, and he drops his axe, but man, we didn't get it. But yeah, that's Armory, guys. Armory is literally just one boss and a bunch of uh, ads. So Armory's done. Super quick. How long have I... I how long? I, I've been, I'm not sure how long I've been... Uh, I've only been recording for 19 minutes, so we managed to complete an armory run in 19 minutes. Maybe even less than... Actually, no, I think I started the video right when we did the run, so... About 19 minutes. 20 minutes to do a Scarlet Monastery run. It's not bad. Not bad. And then Cathedral will probably take maybe another 20 minutes. Maybe 30. If we clear every single boss. Because there's, I think, two uh, secret bosses in... Um, the Cathedral. It's either two or one. I know there's the undead guy in the closet. And I think there's another guy on the other side where um, the undead guy is. But um, I could be wrong. Let's We're going to go find out anyway, so... Let's go. Oh, I like this. I like the guy's... Um, I like the guy's name for... Um, for his pet. His name is Macha. Alright, so now we're going to Cathedral. Dope, dope. We got a drain eye shaman. He's got a straight up mustache. How do you? Where in the world do? Where in the world does God put hair follicles on this thing? Like for real? How the hell did this guy grow hair follicles? I don't even want to know what's. I don't even know what he wants. What he looks like bald. Motherfucker probably looks like a fucking alien. All right, but anyways, guys, we're here. We are at the cathedral. This is the final dungeon for the Scarlet Monastery with the big bosses. So all the bosses that we were fighting up until now, they were all just like, um, they were all just the pawns. So they weren't really the real boss. The real boss of the Scarlet Monastery is um, High Inquisitor White Mane. And I think she's got like her boy toy, some like dude. I forgot his name, but He's part of the fight, and uh, she ends up like reviving him or whatever. And you have to fight him like twice, or some shit like that. But yeah, it's a pretty fun fight. That's where I feel like fights in um, dungeons got a little interesting. You know, starting at Scarlet Monastery, maybe Dead Mines or Nomergon, but maybe Dead Mines. But I don't know. I feel like the Scarlet Monastery boss they started really implementing like different mechanics and shit for the boss. Cause I mean, normally, every normally all the bosses are just like tank and spank, and for the cathedral boss, it kind of is tank and spank too, you know. But she does pop off a revive on her ally buddy once you kill him. So I guess it's a little different. All right, and I don't think yeah, cathedral. Oh god, these guys, this guy's a red level. Okay, I was able to interrupt it, but... Oh, wait, no, I didn't even interrupt it. He resisted. Uh, I'm gonna try to interrupt his next one. Okay, he resisted. 
Yeah, Cathedral isn't that long either. Literally, the end boss is like right there. If you guys can see it, like the chapel door right there, that's where the end boss is. So yeah, it doesn't really take that long to even get to the final boss. Alright, but not all was lost. We did get a new weapon, which greatly increased our DPS by a lot. So, unfortunately we didn't win the helmet, which I really wanted to win. But, it's all good. Man, this guy is freaking... This guy is literally an enhanced... We have two enhanced shamans. I'm blown. So this guy's going to be rolling need for all the stuff that I need to. Sadly. Alright, um... Okay, I'm going to summon Magma Totem, I guess. Help me help our team AoE these guys down. Alright, one of them down. We'll go for the weaker guy first. Actually, no, we'll go with the guy with the mark on him, because that's who our hunter's targeting. Help him DPS this guy down. Alright, nice. We got a crit off and a wind fury. Very nice. Ooh, double crits. Crit on the weapon swing and on the shock after that. Cool beans. Alright, so this guy's gonna do a little pull. And then he's probably gonna pull them, yep, into here. So we can clear them a little bit easier. Because, yeah, once again, these guys do run away. Um, these guys do run away once they get low health. So you want to make sure you kite them in here. So at least the distance is maybe a little bit... Um, shorter for them. Oh man, these guys arcane explosions hurt. Holy fuck. I'm gonna st just lightning bolt this guy. Oh, he resists. Oof. Oh my god, these guys are resisting everything. I gotta, I gotta keep my distance from these guys. Fucking arcane explosion hurts. Alright, you know what? We're about to close the gap. Fuck it. Uh-oh. That arcane explosion, man. Hurts. Alright. Very nice team. Hit him with the flame shock to the dome skis. Oh, man. Yeah, you're gonna be seeing a lot of these parries and misses from me. Oh, man, look at that. Resist, parry, dodge. Oof, resist. Oh, boy. This is some big damage. What um what damage is the corpse maker? Oh, 88 to 132. Holy moly! This I need that corpse maker. I maybe could have gotten corpse maker had I had my you know party not be completely filled with noobs when we were doing Razor Fin Crawl. But you know what can you do? You can't get you can't get good players all the time. All right. Oh man, that's a big parry and resist. Oh, set big damage. 17 damage? Big damage. Alright, so we're closing in on the final boss. Oh, nice. We got a crit off. Alright, what's this guy what's this guy thinking? Alright, I'm gonna summon Earth Totem. And then I'm gonna AoE this guy down with magma. Hopefully I can interrupt his frost shock. We did. This guy's running in weird directions. I don't know where this guy's running. Alright, now we can deal with these guys. Oh, double magma totem popping off. That's what I like to see. You know, min-maxing our damage, our AoE. Nice. 
Got another sorcerer. About to make. Give this guy the works. Give this guy the five man horde beatdown. Yeet. Oh, what the fuck? Who are you? Nice. We got a crit off. <clears throat> Whoa, he's got a cockroach pet. What the hell? I think you get that from the Undercity. Alright, so yeah, the boss, the bosses are in this door, right, this doorway right here. Oh shit, we attracted a bit too many of them. I'm gonna remove this guy's lightning shield, or his um, flame shield, and then we go again on him. Let's focus the wizard, because I feel like he does AoE. Okay, we got a nice little counter spell off, and... Also was able to interrupt his fire shield. All right, that guy's dead. Okay. Na, 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 na. All right, everything's going swimmingly. Library almost completed. Alright, looks like uh, this guy wants to fight these guys, which is cool, I guess. I mean, that's cool with me. I'm getting some nice experience from these. I want to see how much experience I get from one. Oh shit, I didn't need to reapply my lightning shield. Alright, that guy's down. Hit him with a flame shock. Nice. And we got a wind fury. Uh oh. That's a defender on my ass. Let's hit him with a frost shock to slow him down. And then proceed. Oh my god. That's a big one damage. Oh baby. There's more. I pulled him more. I pulled more. Uh oh. That's a big yikes. Whoops. Man. If I didn't hit one damage on this guy, he would have. That wouldn't have happened. Oh shit, this guy's turtle just got huge. What's happened to him? Beast Oh, he was he popped Beast Joe Wrath. It's a big uh It's a big hunter C D. Alright, um we'll flame shock you. And then give this guy the beats. Got him. Oh, this guy's just straight up Leroy Jenkins in this bitch. Let uh, me try to purge that off. Okay, we purge that off. Oh, man, I kind of want to get away from this guy. Because he's popping hella arcane explosions. That spell is ready yet. I think he pops arcane explosion once there's like a bunch of people surrounding him. See, I gotta want to get away from that. Nice. All right, now we can close the gap because that mage is out of the picture. Man, those AOEs kind of hurt. Holy moly. All right, let's get a magma totem going. I thought there was a quest giver in the cathedral, but I guess I was wrong. I thought there was. Let's so reapply Frost Shock so when he runs. Okay, well, he didn't even run. Alright. Smack this dude. Oh, I forgot that, um. What's it called? Blood Elves get a silence, I think, as their passive, their racial passive. I think. Yeah, I don't really need to drink mana because I'm a freaking enhancement shaman. All I have to do is just smack them. <sighs> just smack them and apply flame shock. That's literally the job of. That's literally my job. Alright, we'll summon magma. Nice. We got a double magma going off on these fools. Giving these guys the works. Oh, I'm oom. Whoops. Maybe I should have gotten mana back.
Nice, we got a big crit off. Uh oh, this guy's gonna pull his buddies. That's not good. Uh, it's fine though, I think. Our healers got full mana. I'm gonna wait till I get enough mana for magma. There we go, and I'm just gonna drop it. I'm gonna pop my Blood Fury here. Help do some deeps, you know. Uh, and then we'll Frost Shock you, because, yeah, you're running. Wow, that's a big 7 damage. Oh my god, and the wizard's here. Fucking Harry Potter's here. Fuck this guy. I'm gonna try to purge off this guy's uh, flame shield, but he's resisting all of them. Okay, he resisted all of them. Can't do that anymore. Alright, let's just uh, give this guy the beats. Nice. Oh, that was a really big crit. Thank goodness I didn't hit him for one. I mean, but these guys are red level against me, so... I mean... Missing is bound to happen. Alright, here we go. Gates opened. And then we gotta clear some mob. We gotta clear the whole room before we, uh... Fight the boss. Here we go. Uh, we got Mograine and then High Inquisitor, whatever her name is. High Inquisitor White Mane. So Mograine and White Mane. Oh, we got a crit off. Um, let's purge off your armor if you're okay. He you resisted them. All right, armor's purged off and he puts it back on. Motherfucker. Oh man, this guy's resisting up the ass. I don't think I'm gonna waste my mana here. Except to do that, because that needs to happen. Uh-oh, he's popping another heal. Okay, got interrupted. Nice. Alright, cool beans. Okay, so we have all the totems that we need. Um, Nature resist totem? I don't think that will really work. Oh, I could have used frost resist totem against the... Um, the mages, because they did shoot fire, uh, excuse me, frost blasts, frost bolts, or whatever. So I guess we'll just summon frost resist and then searing totem, because the other shamans have summoned the other totems that normally I would summon, but they got it already, you know. That's a big 9 damage hit. Sheesh. Oh shit, there's more. Uh, let's go for the guy who's hunters, or the guy that the tank's targeting. Summon a magma totem. Uh, frost resist. Oh wait, uh, that's this. Oh wait, no, I can't summon a frost resist. Okay, I'm gonna go for this monk because he's a uh, yellow level compared to these red guys. So I'm gonna go for the monk. Uh oh, my frames are a little bit bad right now. I'm not sure why. Uh, I'm gonna pop Blood Fury and then resummon Magma. Okay, we got a crit off on him. Nice. Let's do this. Pop you with the Earth Shock, but he resists. It's all good. Alright, my frames seem to have come back. Alright, um. Okay, we have mana. Someone has their mana spring totem up. It's all good. Do I have like any cheap mana potions or mana drinks? I don't think so. Oh man, we're our inventory is capped. Uh, if worst comes to worst, we could drop this reflective eater. Oh, and uh, also we got this cookbook, guys, from Desolace. Uh, it's it's gonna allow us to. It's going to allow us to um, get higher level cooking. So I'm going to just learn that real quick. I wanted to make sure to show you guys in the video. Uh oh, I didn't get to cancel his renew. I think he's going to pop a heal though. Soon. Okay, I'm going to purge this. I'm going to purge all his shit off. Okay, now I'm oom. Okay, yeah, I need to learn this thing real quick. But these guys are 
These guys are on a mission. <clears throat> I'm down with it though. Okay, um Okay, my paladin's pulling, but really I feel like my team got it. I'm gonna learn how to cook. Fuck it. I'm gonna do this right in front of them too. They're probably like, what the fuck is our shaman doing? I'm learning shit, man. I'm learning. Alright, yeah, so yeah, we're, our cooking is at 150. It should increase to 225 once we equip this book. Okay. Nice. My team got it. Let's give this guy the beats. Give the champion the beats. I like the Scarlet uh, arm, armor sets. They're pretty cool. I know they're bad people, but I like their armor. Seems as if the front of the building has been cleared out. Very nice. Oh wow, this guy's got an iron grenade. Oh wow, oh okay, hold up, hold up. Oh, we pulling the whole squad near us. All right, we're gonna definitely have to summon all our totems. Right, unfortunately, I can only summon this uh, magma totem, but it should be good enough. I'm gonna focus the monk, because it's probably the target I could do the most damage to. Nice, we got a crit off on him. Oh, we need to reapply Wind Fury weapon. Alright, Monk is almost down. Oh, that's a big heal off on him. I'm gonna purge off his... He had Renew on him. Purge that off. Alright, Monk is going down. Oh, man. Oh, that's a... Oh, 425 damage crit with the Wind Fury. Oh, my God. Why is he getting... Dude, this guy's getting healed up by his buddies. This freaking a-hole. Alright, let's go 1v1 monk. Well, not really a 1v1. Alright, uh, oh. Okay, I did not mean to summon, uh, Flame Tongue. It's all good. I'm gonna purge this guy's heals off and interrupt his heal. Okay, nice. He didn't resist that interrupt, so that's good. Yeah, let's kill this abbot. Uh oh, that guy's healing, though. Okay, we interrupt that. I'm gonna pop a magma totem. Just to help out. Okay, and this guy's almost down. Six damage. Big damage, by the way. Oh, he resisted my heal. No, we gotta kill him. Okay, nice. Oh, Skull of Spirit. Uh, I'm just gonna use that now, because why not? And we need some mana. Alright, that was kind of a big pull, but my team is very strong. So, NBD. Reduces threat generated by 30%. Oh, that's a that's an interesting um, blessing. All right. So yeah, we start off by killing Mograin, and then or I think we start off by killing Mograin, and then Inquisitor Whiteman comes out, reses him. Then we gotta kill both of them. I think you start off by targeting. Um, you kill Mograin first, and then Inquisitor last. I'm pretty sure. Alright, yeah, the only thing I can really do is just smack him down and just magma toad him. I can't, re I can't really be shooting like lightning bolts and shit, because they're probably just all gonna miss or get resisted. So I just try to help out as much as I can, even though it's not that much. Ooh, that's a big 7 damage. 6 damage. Oh wow, did that Torrent just say something? I think he just said, like, on your guard or something. Nice, we got a crit off. Cool beams. Alright, let's deal with these guys. And then we're gonna have to deal with these guys. Uh, let's go for this guy, because it looks like that's who the tank is targeting. Magma totem it up. Nice, my... Flame shock hit. I don't think the initial damage hit, but I think the uh, or the dot definitely hit. Okay, that's good. We gotta make sure he 
doesn't run that way. And then we'll freeze this guy. Oh, he resisted. Alright, cool. Now we're on to Mr. Abbott here. And we gotta focus the Abbott, because he's the guy who um, heals. So let's purge off his inner fire. Nice, we purged off his inner fire again. Okay, we missed our uh, flame shock. Missing a bunch. Uh oh, can we interrupt? We missed the interrupt. Yikes. Can we interrupt? We missed the interrupt. Yikes. Alright, well, it's all good. I don't know why our other shaman isn't interrupting. The room is almost cleared. We just gotta kill these two guys, and this guy can. We can kill him probably when we go to the secret boss. There's a secret boss in that room, and there's a secret boss in this room. <clears throat> we're probably. I mean, I'm assuming we're gonna do both of them, unless these guys just wanna leave right after we kill uh, Inquisitor. Which I don't really mind either. Ooh, that's a big crit. Okay, it looks like we want we're gonna do the side bosses first or the secret bosses first. Uh, I do not mind that. That's just more equips, you know. More equips, chance to get um, some more stats, more damage. And this guy's just going full YOLO, Leroy Jenkins. Let's pop this magma totem. Let's go for the wizard. Oh shit, there's another guy. Oh fuck, I- Oh fuck, I pulled the guy in the other room. Oh, that was my bad. Oh, I, I made a oopsies. I made a big oopsies. Okay. I'm gonna pop a big heal on my tank. Okay, never mind, I don't need to. Oh my god, they're pull we pulled the whole squad. Okay, uh, I'm gonna focus this guy, cause he's weak, or he's... A low level dude. Actually, no, we're focusing the champion. Alright, I'm Oom, which is not good. Our healer is almost Oom, which is not good either. Uh, I'm gonna get enough mana for a Magma Totem and then reapply or resummon that guy. Oh no. Well, I guess there's no one in that room, so it's all good. All right, let's go for this monk because he's almost dead. Nice. Monk down. Alright, very nice. We managed to clear him. We pulled a little bit more than expected, but... Oh! I'll just greed that. Oh my god, this uh, shaman has won everything so far. Holy moly. He's a beast. He's a beast at rolling. Alright, the, the boss isn't in here, he's probably in the other room. In this room. Is he in this room? Wait, oh, it looks like there's only one extra boss. I thought there was two extra bosses. But it looks like there's only one extra boss. Alright guys, but here we go. Oh, what the heck? I was like, who, is there another person? I was like, is there another person here? But it's our tank. He's already freaking going to the next guy. But um, here we go guys. This is the um, pretty much the final boss of the Scarlet Monastery. All combined. Seventeen dam. Pretty good. Eighteen dam. 133, not bad. Alright, here we go. Ancestors be praised. Oh, that, that's, what, that's what I was hearing earlier. It's the fucking torn. Okay, we're gonna clear the secret boss first, I guess. Oh, wait, no, we cl killed these guys. And I'm pretty sure Inquisitor summons... Oh, shit. I gotta have to keep my distance. I'm just gonna hit this guy with Lightning Bolt. But I'm pretty sure if we don't clear all the mobs, then 
Inquisitor resummons them again? I'm I'm not too sure. I've never got I never did it like that way, so we've always cleared, you know, the whole place first before, but I'm not sure what her summon, you know, extends up to. Is it just Mograine or is it literally all these motherfuckers? I don't know, we're gonna find out though. After we whoop this dude's booty. Hey, I get out of here. Alright, here is the secret boss. Oh, I know we have to kill, uh, wait, we have to kill, do we have to kill someone first? Do we have to kill, um, white mate first before we do this? Oh, no, it's right here. Okay, we gotta click this lever, I forgot. And here is the secret boss, High Inquisitor Fairbanks. It's an undead Scarlet guy. I'm not sure what his story is, but they got him locked up in here, so... He must be, like... Um, a cap captive guy? A fear? Oh, I did kind of interrupt a fear. Uh -oh. I interrupted the first one though, which is good. Uh, I want to keep my shock. Yep, I want to interrupt that sleep. And we want to interrupt his heal. We missed the uh, interrupt. I don't know why my other shaman is not doing anything besides just smacking him. Okay, good. Uh oh. Alright, he's down. Inquisitor Shaw. Not bad. Not bad for a caster. Oh, wow. Man, we're getting so unlucky with our rolls. Alright, guys. So the secret boss is down. Now here is the big boy. The one you have all been waiting for. Mograine and White Mane. The end bosses of the Scarlet Monastery. The head honchos. They must be okay, we're going, I'm going. Nice, we actually hit that flame shock. That's pretty good. So yeah, once Mograine dies, Inquisitor White Mane's gonna pop out, res his ass. We gotta kill Mograine again, and then after that we kill White Mane. Boom! Oh, there she is. There's Bay. She kind of bad though, for real. The light has spoken. Oh, he resisted. She kind of bad though, for real. Oh, here we go. Here's the res. Scarlet Resurrection. So what does she say? Arise, uh, the champion. light has spoken. Arise, my champion. At your side, my lady. Okay. Uh, it looks like I don't know what we're targeting. Yeah, we're targeting. Um, who are we? Who are we targeting? I'm just gonna go for Mograine, I guess. Cause that's what I usually go for. Kill Mograine and then. Uh, oh, okay. Well, it says that we gotta kill. They put the skull on White Mane, so let's just kill White Mane. Let's just end end this motherfucker. Uh oh, I don't have enough for an Earth Shock. Nice. Nice white man slayed. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, it's good for um, what's it called? Dude, I can't even target this guy. Okay, there we go. It's good for um casters. If I was elemental shaman, maybe I would have taken it. Oh man. So we got some pretty bad items for us, but eh, it's all good. But that's it guys, that is the Scarlet Monastery. I don't know why High Inquisitor White Mane is in a room with a bunch of dead people, but shit, just guess that, I guess uh, she can do whatever the fuck she wants to. She's a grown ass woman. All right, but anyways, that was it guys. That was Scarlet Monastery, Armory, and Cathedral. Cathedral is pretty much the final dungeon for the four-part dungeon of this Scarlet Monastery. So that is completed. Good to go. Done. Checked off on the books. And we almost dinged level 34 from that. Almost. But, um... We could probably... Who is this? Oh, this is what an engineer makes. But um, we could probably ding level 34 in Stranglethorn. So we're going to finish a couple of quests in Stranglethorn. 
But before that, let me get my shaman abilities for level 32. And um, I'm going to do some blacksmithing. I'm not going to show you guys me doing blacksmithing, though. All right. My frames should be better, but I don't know what's up with the World of Warcraft right now, but there's like a bug where if you play on DirectX 12, like the shadows are really buggy. So that's why I stopped, I didn't, I was, that's why I was on Direct, DirectX 11, but it seems like 11 also has some issues as well. So you know what, fuck it, we're just gonna go with 12. But I was seeing a lot of shadow bugs from 12, so eh, I'm scared. All right, but uh, let's learn our abilities. Hopefully we get a big power spike. Unfortunately, we couldn't, we didn't ding 34, so we couldn't get pick up our 34 shaman abilities, but eh, it's fine. Oh, we get chain lightning, very nice. So we get some minor uh, help to AOing down mobs. Fire Nova Totem, that's pretty good. Lightning Bolt uh, level 6, Purge level 2, Lightning Shield 4, Wind Fury. Oh, Wind Fury. This is the juicer right here. And we got a Healing Wave level 6. Alright, let's equip all of our abilities. Chain Lightning. I'm just going to throw it here because, I mean, really, I'm not going to be throwing out Chain Lightnings like that. Probably just like, you know, here and there. Uh, we got Fire Nova Totem. Uh, we got Fire Nova Totem level 4. Oh, and I have Fire Nova Totem on my macro. I don't know why I haven't been using it. I've only been using Magma. Uh, okay, so we got Fire Nova Totem, Lightning Bolt level 6. Let's equip that. Lightning Shield level 4. Let's equip this. Wind Fury Totem. I'll just put it here. We're definitely going to be putting that in our rotation of totems though 100 percent and then healing wave level six okay nice we got like a decent power spike um not bad not bad all right guys quick change of plans minor change of plans we're still going to stranglethorn but obviously we're in the undercity right now um, we could definitely ding level 34 though because we finished a quest. We finished the Into the Scarlet Monastery quest. Uh, so we have to go back to our boy, Very Mathras, the fucking Dreadlord. Turn in this quest and we get some pretty good items. Unfortunately, they're not really that great for me. Uh, except for this necklace maybe. But then again, this necklace still isn't really that great, you know. I would rather have like agility on it instead of spirit. But um... You know, beggars can't be choosers, that's what I've been told. So we're just gonna take the necklace, which is still, it's still gonna be really good compared to this bullshit ass necklace that I have. Look at this. Greenstone talisman of regeneration, plus two health every five seconds. Yikes. But um, yeah, I'm going to probably end the video after I turn in this quest. And then in the next video, I'll be in Stranglethorn questing. Um, as you guys can see, I already, you know, did some Stranglethorn quests, but like I said earlier in the video, those freaking idiots ruined my video. So all that, all of that content that I recorded, pretty much went out the window because, I mean, I was gonna incorporate my questing in Stranglethorn, and do the dungeon and show the dungeon runs, but I mean, those guys screwed up the dungeon runs Don't pretty badly for me, so couldn't do that. So. I mean, I guess it is what it is. We dinged level 34, though. Very nice. Oh, we can only get uh, improved weapon totems. Oh, this is so bad, though. So we need to put one more point into something. Oh, jeez. I don't like having this. Increases the melee attack power, bonus of your wind fury totem, and increases the damage caused by your flame tongue totem. Oh, these are so bad. I don't want this. <laughs> um, but then again, I don't want any of these either. Anticipation is pretty bad. Toughness, one level in toughness is probably not that worth. It's probably not worth it. All right, I'm just gonna put one point into the improved weapon totems. I'm not gonna put any more points in there. Oh, and someone gives me a quest here. Who is this? Oh, it's a banshee. 
Who are you, Shalindra? Sharlindra? Report to Melissara at Terran Mill, because we gotta go to Terran Mill. Alright, but, um... Yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Let's see what's up with Sylvanas. She looks a lot different from her Shadowlands counterpart. But then again, all the models got updated in... Legion, I think? All the models got updated in Legion, or like something like that, or WAD, I'm not too sure. Or Battle for Azeroth, I don't know, but... She doesn't look too undead here. She looks pretty night elfish to me. But um, yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video, guys. Thanks again for watching. As always, make sure you guys like, comment, and sub. It would help me a lot. I would really appreciate it. If you guys don't, it's fine. No biggie, but... You know, if you guys do, I'll be like, Oh, wow, that's really nice. You know, you'll get a little, uh... A little attention from me if that's what you desire I don't know if that's what many people desire but if you do require the love and affection I am here but yeah I'm looking like a straight-up hockey player bro I look like a fucking hockey player dude this helmet makes me look like a fucking hockey player god damn all right but anyways guys thanks for watching like comment sub I'll see you guys in the next video coming out tomorrow and I'm doing these I'm doing daily uploads, so um, if you guys aren't sure when I'm going to upload next, it's going to be once every day. For the meantime, uh, it may slow down in the future, I'm not too sure, but right now, I'm ha I have a game to play with content to upload, so you guys are going to get a video probably every day. So I guess stay tuned for that if you guys are looking forward to that. But um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I'll see you guys later. Peace.